Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a XAMPP web server and host your own files easily. So without any further delays let's just get into it. Firstly what you want to do is go to Google Chrome or any other browsers you've got installed and head up and type in um, XAMPP. The first thing that should come up is the download page. Um, if you click the first link you should be able to go and download XAMPP for the operating system you've got installed but anyway i'm running windows so i'm going to download windows um, once the download starts it's going to take a couple of minutes to download for me it's going to take a couple of seconds depending on how much internet speed you've got that's done you can run the file obviously you need to allow admin rights should take a couple of seconds to load up okay so once you've seen the XAMPP file this is how the setup's going to look like um, so what you got to do now is go click next um, make sure all of this is ticked click next again and you need to make sure that the directory is set to by default C um, funds, um, and XAMPP because that's where you want to be installing the file. Um, I'm not going to be installing it again because it's going to override all my files. So I'm going to cancel this one from here. But once you've done installing, what you want to do next is go and search for XAMPP. And it's the first thing that will pop up. You click on it and it will be XAMPP control panel. As you can see, it's slowly opening up. Um, as we can see here, we've got different actions. So what we want to do to host our website is to start the Apache server. And if you've got a database system linked to it, which you most probably would have, you click start on that as well. In this tutorial, I'm only going to be showing you how to host a website on your local host. In the next tutorial coming up, I'm going to show you how to port forward and make that web server available to other computers from that are not connected to your internet connection, basically. So once you've done this, you're pretty much done. Once you've started both services, what you need to do is um go to your this pc um your local disk you go to folder xamp but i've installed xamp twice so for me it's xamp1 but you what you, what you want to be doing is opening xamp I, i'm going to be opening xamp1 because it's different for me you what you want to do next is go to ht docs that's where you'll be putting all your website files um, you want to be foldering all your websites like for example these are all my websites college management that um, home auto and all the other websites I've got in this directory make sure not to delete any files that are already there because it may cause problems so I'm just gonna open once once you've got your website for nicely folded and put inside the directory shown here what you might what you want to do is head over to your browser and type in localhost and one of my websites in the directory is hc so i'm going to type in hc and click enter so as you can see my website is being hosted on my local host but at the moment it's not being hosted outside my local host so it cannot be viewed from the internet anyway guys that was it for today's tutorial hope this has helped you guys and i look forward to showing you how to put forward your website make it more useful to be seen on the internet as well Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like for more.